Hi, right, welcome back. Tonight's video is going to be uh, a little different. I don't think I'll be working on anything, but uh, just kind of want to celebrate that I hit uh, 50 subscribers. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I'd even have five, but I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot to me uh, to know that people want to come on this journey with me of learning because I really don't have any experience doing any of this, but uh, y'all have been really, really kind and uh, generous with your advice and just really, uh, really helpful. Gives me a lot, of, a lot of things to think about and look at before I possibly make a bad decision. But I uh, also want to take this time to kind of go over some things I've been kicking around about the channel. Uh, I'm thinking that I might get in to uh, putting some merchandise out there. I mean, my thinking is my way of funding any of these projects back here is through eBay selling stuff I have or stuff that I've collected over the years and that's kind of coming down to dwindle so I'm thinking about maybe making some shirts or stickers or something of that that nature and uh, any money I have that comes in through that and the links in the description or affiliate marketing like if y'all if you click on that and you buy something off Amazon, I get a small percentage to because I that link took you there essentially. But any any money I make doing any of that, or even if I ever get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours and I get monetized on YouTube, any of the money I make will be funneled into these projects or to making uh, this channel better, make it better better cameras, microphones. My ultimate dream would be have a have enough money to build a shop that I could put all my projects in in one place and that way I can you know have access to them to do videos and whatnot when I need them because my other two are kind of just out there. But uh that's my thoughts. I don't know about I heard Patreon, but I'm not sure how that works. But I might be looking into that too. But uh, let me know what you think. I mean, you're not obligated to buy anything or use anything at all. But that's one thing that I think that might help expedite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And especially the Bronco back there. And uh, I know this channel has a bunch of Bronco guys on here. And... As soon as I get that done, which will probably be, I don't know, a year or two, hopefully, from now, I'm going to move on to something else. It's either going to be that 65 GMC short wide or the uh, 50 Chevrolet 3100 half ton. Uh, my Camaro needs a ton of work, as you can see. A wheel fell off there going down the road and bent that up and... We had this car, it was my dad's original car he bought in 78. And he paid, uh, or he, yeah, he paid a man to do the body work on it. And all he did was put that skin of that back fender on both sides over the old one. So there's rust all up underneath it. And if you can see down there at the very bottom, there's rust coming through the uh, fender there too. And it's, Especially rusty through the top <clears throat> and around the windows is this rust everywhere. But I really want to get that one restored, looking right. And, uh, and of course the Healy, oh, you can't see it, but it's way back in there. I like to get that going one day too. So I mean, this channel is not going to be just just about Broncos, but that's my main focus right now is that one. And I have my eye on two more if I can get enough money and convince the guy to sell them. So I may be future Bron Bronco projects, if I do happen to, if have been able to buy one or two off of him. But, uh, 
that's what I was thinking about the channel going forward. Might try, you know, throw some links down there for my merchandise, shirts, and stickers. If if y'all want to support, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. But uh, I just fear that my money's gonna dry up going into that, and then I won't have very good content to put out. Which I'll still put out content, it may just not be very exciting. But uh, anyways, moving on from that, I think this this month we're gonna tackle the passenger side inner rocker, outer rocker, kick panel, door pillar, and I think I'm gonna buy the, uh, can't remember what it's called, but that front fender piece from the, the front of the Bronco back, and that has a hole in them on each side. I was gonna buy that one, go behind it, and I have the kick panel go over it, so should have good metal there. But anyways, we're gonna, long story short, I'm going to buy that other panel, and then we're going to uh, replace everything. I'm going to do a lot more research when I have time, and uh, but we're going to start pulling that inner rocker off and seeing what's underneath that whole seat center section there, and maybe that everything has to go. But, uh, but we're going to do start doing more than just sanding and priming. It's kind of getting kind of monotonous and kind of lackluster content in my own thoughts. So I want to switch it up a little bit and do something more challenging and exciting. But uh, anyways, yeah, I never thought I'd make it to 50 subscribers. That's a real big milestone for me. I don't think I'd have that many people wanting to see how I'm going about restoring a car, but I know I said that I'd have a drawing at 50 for a keychain that I made. I start to looking into legalities, the legalities of it, and there's so much red tape that I don't want to get the person that wins in trouble because if they can't accept something in their state or whatever, I don't know. So uh, I'll just postpone that either if I do make a Patreon or something it might be something in there but I don't want yeah probably not I just don't want you have to do that and then purchase a win or something I don't know so we'll scrap that for now but I think my next milestone is going to be uh it's kind of a big one but it'll be 500 subscribers and if I hit that I may uh try to do a live feed chat thing on here just answer some questions and stuff because I don't think I've told you very much about myself other than I'm a, a father I have two kids and a wife and I work that's about all you know about me but uh my name's Thomas and I live in Oklahoma and I think I told you history on the cars dad uh, bought that new in 78 and uh we restored it in 2000, and that was my car when I turned 16. And that car is going to stay with me forever. The Bronco I bought off my grandfather in uh, 2013, I believe, running, driving, drove it for a couple years. Then I started getting parts for it, and I thought I'd just blow it apart and do a frame off restoration. And it sat like that for four years until I started this channel in February of this year. And that's when I really started to try to work on it at least, you know, three times a week, if not more. Uh, the Healy back there was given to me by my wife's uncle. So my, I guess my uncle-in-law, it was in a barn out by my wife's house, my wife's parents' house, and uh, he got to it before I could, but he purchased it, off the, purchased it off the lady, and he did some work to it, and uh, just lost interest and just gave it to me. And 
the 65 GMC short wide out there. My dad bought it in uh, Two thousand and five or six, I believe. Anyways, we paid five hundred for it, running and driving. Uh, started smoking really bad, so I tore the engine out of it and realized the cam lobes were just round; they weren't lobed anymore. So I decided to do a frame off restoration on it and got about as far as I got with the Bronco and. It's front end's missing out there. That 50 Chevrolet 3100, we bought from my dad's friend for 150 bucks. Uh, it was not running or driving, but it did come with an extra 235 straight six. That's what's in it now. I have it sitting back over there on the floor, but uh, that's a bow and acre now, much like that one that's in it. But, uh, we bought that one right after we bought the GMC because that's that one up that 50 Chevrolet is one of my all time favorite trucks of all time er, ever. I love that truck and wife wife really likes it too. So that one may be getting bumped up if I get that Bronco fixed. But uh, we bought that one and and that's that's it so far and my. Grandfather has a kind of scrap yard out there on some land that has some other cars on it. I think my dad got a has a 64 Impala four door that he bought for 50 bucks and a case of beer, which I don't think it has a title to it. But I mean, I got other, other cars out there if I ever run out of here out of these. But uh, my main goal is to hopefully have me a shop big enough where I can put all these cars in there and get them out of the weather. Uh, make it a lot nicer than this. I mean, if you've seen the thumbnail, that's the outside of my, my shop. It's just really big enough for two cars. I have a, I don't know, maybe a 10 by 30 space, if that with my bench and all the stuff I need to get rid of. But, uh, anyways, uh, kind of rambling, but anyways, my ultimate, uh, message is, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It, it means a lot to me that I have this many people, uh, watching my videos and I just, uh, hope we can keep on trucking on and I really want to get the Bronco going and get that sorted so i think we're gonna start jumping in and uh start hammering out and start taking stuff off i'm gonna try to, i know uh one one of the viewers uh, suggested a uh, dustless blasting or stripping chemical stripping i'm gonna see if i can find somebody because i really like them to just blast the whole thing and see where all the all the holes are but well, anything I can't save but <clears throat> until I do that we're we'll start replacing panels and just getting it getting it solid again hopefully and then we'll you know switch the chassis I'm kicking around the idea of trying to build my own rotisserie for it I don't know if that's a good idea or not but I really want to want to do it right and bed line underneath it and make it you know where it's gonna be hard to rest again but uh anyways just uh just want to say thank you again and uh sorry about this didn't work on anything tonight but i just want to take time out and just thank everybody for uh their support kind words and and all the advice and i'm sure i'll need a lot more advice moving on and uh anyways uh, I guess I'll see you on the next.